Hi, for this video what I want to do is I want to show you how to find a frequency using the formula equals count ifs that is built into Excel. So basically what I want to do is I want to take my data set here in cells A1 through A25 and I want Excel to count how many values fall between 753 and 10,431. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell that I want to work with and I'm going to type equals to start and then I'm going to find count IFS with an open parenthesis. Um, it does ask me for my criteria range so that's going to be cell A1 through A25. Um, I want it to keep this way when I drag it down so in order to do that um, I do want to put dollar signs which is shift in the number four in front of um, both my numbers and my letters. So once you get your dollar signs entered, then you are going to hit a comma behind, and then we're going to talk about our criteria. So I want all values that are greater than or equal to um, the cell that contains my class lower limit. So to do that, I have to put quotation marks around the greater than equal to. And then I use the ampersand, which is shift and number seven. And then I would just select the cell that I want. So for this one, I want the class lower limit. And then I'm going to put a comma. And my next step is I need to tell the criteria again. So I do have to tell it I still am looking at A1 through A25. Again, you do have to put in your dollar signs if you don't want the data to change. Otherwise, it will change the column that it's looking for when you drag it down. So, oops. Make sure that you are on the other side of the colon. All right, and for this one, we want it to be less than or equal to, and the less than is above the comma. Um, so if you hit shift and comma and then put your quotation marks in, and then your ampersand, and this time we're gonna select the class upper limit, and we would just put a um, we would close our parentheses afterwards and then hit enter. And we can see that it puts the number 12 in here. So we have 12 values that fall between 753 and 10,431. Okay. Um, I can then just drag down for the next cells and it's of course not working. Um, highlight on there, drag down the little box and it will automatically populate the formulas in the next cell. So now notice when you click on it, it does give you the same formula for each of those. Okay, you can always check to make sure that your data um, was all represented here by typing in equals sum and then just finding the sum of your frequencies to make sure it adds up to the total number of data points that you have. In this case, I had 25 data points, and you can see that it does give me 25, so all of my data values are represented. The other co um, column that I wanted to talk to you about in this video is the cumulative frequency column. Um, in order to find this, you're just going to hit equals, and you're going to remember cumulative frequency is the sum of all the frequencies by the end of that class. So by the end of the first class, I just have 12. So I'm just going to select um, the cell that contains my first frequency. Um, my next one is going to be equals the value that I just had plus the sum of the second class. And then after I have typed in this formula, I can just drag it down for the remaining um, values and then we can see that it also adds up to be 25 which would have been another check that I could have done instead of finding the sum here. Okay so hopefully this will help you to be able to use the equal count ifs and be able to find the frequency and the cumulative frequency in a frequency distribution using Excel. As always thanks for watching. If you have any questions please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like to see um, please let me know that as well.